It's the final two races of the GT3 Cup Challenge Canada Series at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park in Bowmanville. Over the past eight races, the Porsche Centre Oakville Allegra Motorsport team has experienced their share of ups and downs. And now, it all comes down to these final two races as the team is trailing the Platinum Team Championship Series leader by only two points. Qualifying sees Daniel Morad secure a second place start with series leader Chris Green of FAF Motorsports finding himself in fourth place behind Mark Motors' Marco Chiron. 15-year-old rookie Michael de Casada's qualifying run puts him in pole position in the gold class. This is the first time this season Daniel has started in second position, and at the drop of the green flag, Daniel's start is not as clean as he'd like. I want to make sure that I got off cleanly and uh... Unfortunately, it wasn't the best start. It was an okay start. Um, I got just up to Scott's rear bumper uh, before we turned into turn one and tried running the outside, but just got too much marbles, too much of the, the rubber bits on my tire. One lap into the 45 minute race, gold class driver Sean McCaig runs into trouble as his number 34 car careens off the track at White's Corner in front of the grandstand. The number 48 car, driven by Carlos de Casada, is unable to avoid the accident, and his car is caught up in the collision and severely damaged. Well, I was following Sean McCaig, and uh, he was coming onto the front straightaway and just got a little loose and lost it. I don't think it, it's a common driver's mistake, it happens to everybody. And he collected my dad, and my dad T boned him. But they're both all right, thankfully. My dad's back is just a little bit sore. Um, hopefully we can get him out tomorrow, but we'll see. The race continues under the caution yellow flag for the next 15 minutes as crews scramble to clean up the debris. Shortly after the race resumes, Tim Sanderson, driving the number seven Porsche Center Oakville Allegra Motorsport car, is forced off the track into the tire barrier after being hit from behind by Mark Motors' Harry Steenbackers. The lap before this happened, I was nudged three times. And that lap, I was clearly just pushed right off the racetrack. It was a really hard hit. And uh, the car's in a little bit of a disarray. There is severe damage to the right side of Tim's car, ending his race. The race finishes under the caution flag, with Daniel claiming a second place finish, Michael finishing first, and Chuck Harris fourth. It's going to be a long night for Chief Mechanic, Tony Ditto, and team manager Andy Green of Porsche Center Oakville Allegra Motorsport. Both the number seven and number 48 car have sustained severe damage, and without their inclusion in tomorrow's final race, the team championship is in jeopardy. Um, had to make a place for all the radiators to hang, because there was nothing there. I had to make a place for the fenders and uh, bumper to hang, because it was literally just smushed. Just take your hand, put it like this, this is how bad the car was. Put you straight everything back out. Problem is, it's all boron steel and a lot of aluminum, so everything likes to, it likes where it was. <laughs> The team works well into the night in an effort to repair both cars. Sunday brings renewed optimism from the team. Overnight, the team has managed to repair both damaged cars from yesterday's race. The second race is clean and conducted under the green flag for the entire 45 minutes. Carlos de Casada redeems himself after yesterday's collision, driving a flawless race. Starting in third, he manages to pass Ore Fidani to take second place in the gold class. His son Michael claims first place. For Michael, it is a special moment to share the podium with his father. Daniel Morad finishes in second place in his 10th and final race of the season. The challenge is over. After five race weekends and 10 races, the Allegra Porsche Center Oakville Motorsport team managed to win the Platinum Team Championship title. Daniel Morad, having been out of racing for four years, and this his first year in a cup car, completes the season with a strong second place overall finish. Michael de Casada, only 15 years old, wins his final six races, setting a record in the GT3 Cup Challenge Canada Series. For the GT3 Cup Challenge Canada Series, the checkered flag has dropped for the last time on the 2015 season.
the Allegra Motorsports team is heading back to sunny Florida. And for Porsche Center Oakville, it's back to business. But they are going home with some hardware to show off. The partnership between Allegra Motorsport and Porsche Center Oakville came together only a few days before the inaugural race of the season. And with the start of every race and drop of every checkered flag, that partnership and passion has deepened. They'll be back for next year because they never give up.